Hello everyone, I am Dr. Neha Chaudhary. I am a consultant breast surgeon at Narayana Health, Kolkata. And today I would like to talk about what happens if a lady feels a lump in her breast. So lump in a breast is something which can really scare you. And it is not something you always need to be scared about. Lump in breast doesn't always mean that it is cancer. There are a lot of other diagnoses which is a possibility. So if you ever happen to feel a lump in your breast, what happens next? Let's talk about it. So once you feel a lump in your breast, the first and the most logical thing to do is go meet your breast doctor. Once you meet one of us, what we do next is known as a triple test or a triple examination. There are three components to a triple test. One is a clinical examination, second is imaging and third is the tissue diagnosis. So when you come to us, we take a detailed history of how the lump came, since when it is there, is there any pain associated with the lump, is the lump increasing in size, are there any other symptoms apart from the lump, is there any discharge in the breast and henceforth. After that, we examine you. We take you on the examination table and we try to feel the lump. And based on these two things, the clinician makes up a diagnosis in their mind of how suspicious or how significant the lump is. The next step is to send you for some kind of a scan or imaging. So usually the most common imaging would be an ultrasound breast or a mammography, especially if you're more than 40 years of age. Once an imaging is done, that imaging gives us a report in something which is known as Byrad's category. So Byrad's category 0, 1 and 2 is not to worry about. Zero. 1 means normal, 2 means there is something benign. Byrad's category 3 means it is probably benign, however we need to relook after 6 months. However, if the ultrasound or mammography report shows a Byrad's category of 4 or 5, that means that this lump is probably suspicious for cancer and it needs further evaluation. So once we get a Byrad's category 4 or 5 or we have a stronger clinical suspicion, then what we do next is known, known as a tissue diagnosis or a biopsy. Now again, it can be either a fine needle aspiration cytology or FNAC or a trucid biopsy. Usually we go for a trucid biopsy because that is more conclusive, it gives us, a, gives us a more accurate report. Now again, there's a lot of myth about biopsy or a trucid biopsy. A lot of people feel or they would have heard from someone that once you get a biopsy done, then the tumor will grow very fast, the chances of it spreading is higher. All this is false, it's a myth. There is no scientific evidence to prove it. Trucker biopsy is absolutely safe. It does not increase the risk of spread. It can be done as an outpatient procedure. It takes barely 10 minutes to do it. We will give you local anesthesia. You'll be very comfortable. And under ultrasound guidance, a small needle is inserted and the tissue is taken. You can go back home same day. You're given some kind of painkillers and usually there's hardly any pain. So do not be worried about biopsy and do not try to avoid or escape it or try to delay your treatment for the fear of biopsy. Once a biopsy is done and then we wait for your biopsy report, which usually comes back in three to four days. And depending on the report, a diagnosis of what exactly that lump is, is made. Now, what are the possible commonly uh, diagnosed uh, results that we come across? We come across, we come across a lot of times something which is known as a fibroadenoma. Fibroadenoma is a benign lump. It is completely safe, nothing to worry about. Unless it is growing in size or it is, it has achieved a significant size, you don't even need to remove it. It can be safely observed. Apart from that, we can get something, a report which is known as a phyllodes tumor. Now again, if it is phyllodes tumor, it can be benign borderline or malignant and depending on what the report is you do need to get a surgery done usually what we do is we do a wide local excision that means we remove the lump with some margin so that the whole uh, the whole tumor is out 
Apart from that, there are if you might get a report of something which is known as invasive ductal carcinoma or duct carcinoma in C2. Now, duct carcinoma in C2 is kind of a precancer. However, it does need treatment. You need to remove it with margins, and it might have to be followed up with radiation therapy. Usually, for DCS, you do not need any chemotherapy. If you get diagnosed with invasive ductal carcinoma, then we do further testing on your biopsy reports. We do something which is known as immunohistochemistry or ER, PR, and HER2 report to understand what is the type of cancer that you have. Apart from that, you may also need some staging investigation, like maybe a CT scan or a PET scan, to understand understand whether the cancer has spread to any other part of the body. And depending on these final reports, we decide your treatment. So, a lump in the breast does not always mean it's a danger signal. However, if you do see it, do not ignore it. Do not be scared of it. Come, come to the doctor and get it evaluated. Thank you.